Hey everyone in YouTube land, this is Randy again, back with another installment of our Marvels segment, where we're right now showcasing my Guardians of the Galaxy collection. But just a little recap and an introduction, one moment. Star-Lord, right? I figured we had to bring him out, show you guys him again. Sheldon loves his new costume. Isn't he adorable? So, the mask is kind of big for him. Kind of looks like it wraps around his head too much. But it wouldn't be a Guardians of the Galaxy segment if we didn't have him at least in one part of it. So, he's just adorable. I love this costume. I love the detail they put on it. It's a little big on him, so it kind of keeps slipping down. And his shell gets in the way, but it is just truly adorable. I just love this guy. And he just laughs. Just makes you smile when you laugh, right? But he wanted to introduce one of his best friends, and they're always at each other's throat, but they generally love each other. So one second. And that is Rocket. And if you heard yesterday when we were doing the last video, I had to have Rocket. When I saw him on the shelves, I just, I, just, oh, I was like, I have to have this one because he's a raccoon. I mean, he's a woodland creature. He's adorable with his little tail, right? And this outfit that they made for him, it's just so cool. But like, he is just different. Like I have a collection full of all different animals and different bears, but I didn't want a collection, like I said before, it was all bears. And he is unique. He's the only raccoon in my whole set. He completes like another, just my own kind of set, like woodland creatures, which I have a bunch of them. I even eventually got my fox, which is my favorite woodland creature, but you'll see him short later. And right now he is sporting baby Groot because he truly was sad what happened to Groot and me. Remember that? So he had to have this little group to go you know, hang around with him. Again, I love the soft, uh, furry nature of the what they do here with the Build-A-Bear. He's got his own logo underneath, which is really awesome. And it showcases how he looks in the movie. He is kind of plumper than normal, but then again, that's for cuddling. That's the whole point of that. I love his little raccoon ears and the definition they get in his eyes and face. I do like the embroidery work. So, I mean, all in all, because of the texture and color of this fur, you don't see a lot of the seams. So it looks pretty seamless. You got the little... I want to see him in the back, but that's okay. It's just a part in his hair. So, yeah, I mean, they did a real good job on Rocket. I think he's one of the better ones they did for his production value and his with his costume and everything. I mean, he really completes the set. You can't have a Guardians of the Galaxy set without a Rocket Build-A-Bear. Let's just be honest. I mean, he just, he just stands out. He's amazing. And I'm so excited to show you the last one we have. Yes, it's not a big set, the Guardians of the Galaxy. They did have a couple little minis, as I showed you before. But we got one more to show you tomorrow, so you must stay tuned. You must like it below. Come back tomorrow and see who is the final member of the Guardians of the Galaxy Build-A-Bear collection. Thank you, guys.